Let me show you the difference between cadmium red scarlet and alizarin crimson. We'll be using them as the red color in the Zorn palette. Cadmium red is a warm and highly saturated, strong and opaque color. The cadmium red scarlet version we see here is a variation with a slightly lighter tone value and has more of a yellow undertone, making it draw towards an orange red. When we mix skin tones with it, we tend to mute them down a bit. Let's take a look at this early portrait of Margit by Zorn. He shows us how brilliantly he uses this vibrant and orange red, both thinner skin, her dress, and the orange colors of her hair. They are so warm and lush. On the other hand, we have the alizarin crimson here, which is a darker and much cooler looking red. It gives deeply saturated, dark reds without even mixing it. When we dilute it with some painting medium, we can see the true shade of this red. It has this wonderful cool and blue-violet undertone. And since it is a lake, it is very transparent, making it well-suited and often used for glazing. A beautiful way to let your dark reds glow. Both layers will start working together, giving you a color you can only achieve this way. Let's take a look at this masterpiece by Ilya Repin, one of Russia's most famous paintings. We see that a lizarin was used here to paint the blood on the head and also with more transparent glazes in the rug and the pillows. Mixing a lizarin with titanium white gives saturated red colors that are a little cooler than we saw with the medium. Titanium white cools the color temperature down, giving wonderful pinks with a soft shade of purple, but will not get as cool and piercing as a magenta, for instance. Cadmium red scarlet with yellow ochre gives oranges that are saturated and with a warm and vibrant yellow hue. In fact, they are very close to the ginger hair colors we just saw in Ander Zorn's portrait of Margit. If we mix the same yellow ochre with alizarin crimson, we see a big difference. The oranges are more muted, and alizarin's blue undertone give it a much more reddish purple shade. Very useful for cooler skin tones. Mixing ivory black with cadmium red scarlet, the most saturated color here, we get warm and reddish brown tones, where the mids are more muted pinks with a gray undertone. Alizarin with ivory black, two dark colors, gives deep black purples that still have a lot of color in them. The midtones give us these wonderful purples and violets. Slightly muted, but still strong reddish purples with a blue undertone. So the cadmium red scarlet gives you the warmer colors with a vibrant yellow shade. And alizarin crimson gives you the cooler colors with a hint of violet. It is also much more transparent, perfect for glazing. But they are so different that I usually have them both on my palette. I hope this video helps. Thank you.